everyone welcome to my channel today I have one iPhone 6 with me but what the problem with that I forgot the password and it's got disabled when I'm going password it say your iPhone is disabled you can see it say your iPhone is disabled so today we are going to show how we can fix that password problem and recover the password from that iPhone but one thing you have to put in the mind that if we restore factory that iPhone whatever data will be inside that phone it's going to be destroyed so that you have to mind so at the beginning we have to put the phone into the restore modes to do that we have to press that side button here or the power button long press hope you can see or not until it's come up with the slider button to close so we'll just slide and turn off then we are going to use that proprietary iPhone cable the original one we already connected to the computer and this one we'll just connect that but before connecting we have to press and hold that home button then we are going to connect that phone here then after a while okay after a while you can see there is the iTunes recovery option is there because we are using here the Mac OS Catalina we don't have to do anything or we don't have to use any application to restore the software we are just going to click on restore what we are seeing in the computer and that is going to restore the phone into the restore factory mode so we are going to click on restore and update again and it's showing that your Mac is preparing to restore the software on your iPhone and we can see on the side the restoring option is showing up so we'll wait a little bit and let's see what happened in the meantime I'm going to show you that if we have iPhone 7 are larger than iPhone 7 what we are going to do or the mm, current version of iPhone what we are going to do for that iPhone 7 I have here we are going to press that power button the same way then we are going to turn off this but in that case what's the problem is there is we don't have to use that home button we have to press that side button just clicking side button then we can connect the phone so we're just just pressing side button and we're going to plug it in I don't know you can see or not Yeah, you can see it's now in restore mode so for iPhone 7 we are going to press that home button then we'll slide and turn it off and then we'll press the side volume down button the volume minus button and then connect that cable to the phone and then it will go to the restore mode the same way we can do in iPhone 10 and iPhone 11 iPhone uh, more than iPhone 8 I mean more than iPhone 7, 7 to iPhone 8 to iPhone 11 will press that home button, long press that home button and connect that cable then it will go to the restore mode. So we are going to come back to the this phone to restore, we will just connect again. And we will see I already disconnected so it uh, went off from the restore mode so we are going to do again. Just wait and see what happened. Uh, it's not doing anything. We'll just turn it off. It's disabled. Up again. Turn it off from there. Then we'll hold until the power off sign is coming up. We'll just power off. Then we'll just press that home button because it's iPhone 6. How you know it's older phone? The home button is really click.
we'll see until it's came to the restore we'll just still press the home button then we'll go there restore iphone that way you can do that but that way it takes very very longer time we'll just click on restore and again restore an update then we have to wait and it say that your mac is preparing to restore the phone on this iphone but we can use a uh, application here i mean the firmware we can download the firmware the soft the website name is ipsw.me then we can select which version we needed we we'll just go to the iphone and from there we can choose iphone 6 because i'm restoring the iphone 6 so we'll just choose the iphone 6 and from there we can just download that i already downloaded it you can see it didn't really restore it it went back to that logo and it started restarting the phones but it's already doing now so in that way it's working right now preparing to restore your iphone but if that doesn't happen so we can do we can download that firmware and we can just all our option and drag and draw from there we can restore that way too also so that's okay so we'll wait and see how it's work then i'll back still showing that we are restoring and on the computer screen we can see that the restore your mac preparing to restore the software on this iphone i think it's going to be done within few minutes so i will show I'm, i i should say to you that if it takes a longer time some time to download the software through the itunes or the explorer so we can do we can download that firmware from that website the website name is ips.me from there we can choose iphone and then we can download the firmware i showed you before so we see that your phone has been has been restore factor settings and restarting please leave your phone connected it will appear in the slide bar after restart okay so we just click on okay and that way we see that phone is still now restarting and we'll wait how it's working so if you like my video and it helps with that problem and you can save and save so if you like my video and it helps you with to solve the problem of your phone so please press the like button and if you didn't subscribe it please subscribe and share with other people so they can solve their problem with their iphone password problem too so we'll wait and see what happened we'll wait a little bit and let's see still the apple logo is going and the bar is progressing so hopefully we'll be okay to done it We can see in the computer screen also there is other phone is there it's just saying to trust we'll just click on trust that means that phone is going to be trusted in there and we can see in the computer screen the iphone 6 63.99 gigabytes available space is 58.64 available and 73 percent battery so hopefully we able to solve the problem and hopefully we'll be coming into the welcome screen from there we'll go and set up the computer i mean set up the this device so we can see is there welcome to new iphone set up your new device so we are not going to set up from there because we are going to use a different we are going to use that phone for different persons so we'll just wait until it's come out and we can see on the screen too that it's showing that our phone has been totally restored now we can set up the new iphone We'll just go and click on set up new iphone if we click in there we can do that way too so hopefully you liking my other videos too i was trying to make a video yesterday about uh, how to install mac OS on an old laptop using a pen drive but my pen drive got died so i couldn't make the video i'm going to make the video in next two three days so you will get it and um, i'm going to show you that how you can install mac os using a pen drive because some 
of that method I showing you sometime those method couldn't be working because sometime the laptop you are using that not going to support it with the advanced upgraded Mac OS so we have to download the Mac OS application file and then we have to make a bootable USB then we can install from the bootable USB to that old Mac OS I mean old MacBook or iMac so we'll come back in few minutes and we'll see if it works or not hello now we can see that phone is in the restore factory mode from there we can go forward and we can set up that phone as a new person's phone so if you like that video please press the like button and subscribe and press the bell icon and share with other people so they can help too i'll see you again and thanks for watching love you all